Yo, Tony Gold GA fan page. Okay, I am literally going to answer these questions as we go along, and I'm sure they'll be uploaded into splits on the page. So thank you for the questions in advance. Um, so I'm literally haven't read these yet. I'm going to answer them off the cuff as we go along because that's kind of how I roll. Um, what was your favorite sport as a child? Uh, football, Gaelic football. I literally had a football in my hand from the age of six um, until the age of 26. <laughs> I think and then I took a two-year break um, to travel the world as a fitness model and do bodybuilding. Uh, but yeah, uh, GA. I was a big soccer fan as well. Um, I'm an Arsenal fan, but uh, it was GA. Uh, who was your hero growing up? Um, I had a couple of heroes. Sporting wise, I was ten when Guy won the ninety eight All Ireland. I was around that age. Um, massive Michael Donlan fan. Horrock Joyce. Uh, they were kind of my my two go to guys. Uh, because Michael was playing wing forward and Horrock was full forward, and I used to always play in those positions when I was young. And um, so they were kind of my sporting heroes growing up. Um, even though I was a big fan of. People like Pat Spillane as well. Um, my uncle Stephen Joyce, he played for Galway. He's the Galway ma minor manager now. Um, I used to watch old videos with him. I, I mentioned Pat Spillane in my book, uh, Fitness Mindset. I talked about it, about how you can copy the top sporting athletes and do what they do and get performances similar to them. Um, question three, what training exercise would you recommend for pace in today's modern game? Um, it's going to be a combination of... Uh, getting your glutes to fire, which allows you to take off faster. So different things like reverse lunges, where you go slowly on the way back and explode up. Barbell box squats, uh, sumo deadlifts, variations in different versions. And um, also because the games have moved so far forward, I work with my Jailing Body program. There's people with uh, the club, underage, county, um, inter-county, top senior. Um, and it's all down to conditioning, muscular conditioning um, on top of your pitch and skill work that you're doing on the pitch. Uh, four, what is your number one best-selling book about? Uh, so my book is split into two sections. So it's the fitness mindset um, and it's split into two sections. The first section is all fitness. So training, nutrition, sleep, supplements, um, alcohol, hydration. And the second section is all mindset then. So habits, finding your why, setting goals, uh, life tips, stress, anxiety, worry, minimizing nerves, all of these things. Um, so a lot of stuff in there for GEA players. The only thing that I wouldn't follow is the training program. The training program isn't very applicable, um, but everything else in there is gonna be great in terms of your food choices, your nutrition, your supplements, sleep, recovery, all of that stuff has it's been tremendous feedback from GEA players. Um, but stay tuned for book number two. Uh, realistically, it's gonna be in two years time, but uh, it'll probably be a GEA book. <laughs> Um, what? How far do you think Galway will make in this year's championship? Uh, my heart tells me semi-finals. My head tells me Kerry will be hard to beat. Um, what is your inspirational quote? Um, Never be paralyzed by fear. Um, which is an Arnold Schwarzenegger quote. Uh, so many times we let fear, and whether that be taking free kicks, whether that be before games, whether that's anxiety that builds up, you can't be paralyzed by it. You have to just lean into it and step into it and find things that are going to support you so that you never become overcome by fear, which can stop most athletes uh, getting to the top of their sport or to the top of whatever it is that they want to do. Um, so that's kind of my favorite quote in, ter in terms of uh, life and sport quote. Uh, what's your favorite meal? Uh, favorite cheat meal is something to do with ice cream. My favorite meal is boringly like my post-workout meal, which is like porridge, um, chocolate protein, and turkey. <laughs> like uh, turkey burgers, turkey mints. Uh, it's boring, and then I like ice cream as a cheat. Um, who's your favorite Galway player? Uh, I'm gonna cop out on this one and say Declan Coyne plays fullback. He's my teammate and club mate. Um, Decky is someone that I used to mark all the way up when we used to mark before he went in with the county planner. He obviously doesn't train with the club as much anymore, um, but we were always marking each other growing up. So uh, Decky's probably my favorite, even though I love a few of the other boys as well. Um, would you ever think of opening up a gym like TJ Reed? Um, no, I'll probably won't open a gym. Uh, I may have a studio when I finish building my house. Possibly a studio in there, um, but I'll never build a gym. I have no plans. I won't say never, but I have no plans of yet. Um, TJ is a good friend of mine. TJ is on my program, um, on my helping him with nutrition for the last couple of, for the last while, um, and I plan to go down to his gym at some stage. But I don't ever plan to open up a gym, um, even though TJ will crush it because TJ just is amazing at everything he does. He's just full on with everything. Um, it's why his gym has been such a success. Uh, and number 10, finally, which county do you think will win the All-Ireland this year? 
awful hard to see past Dublin. Um, from a, from someone from the strength and conditioning background, they're so athletic. Their muscular endurance, their speed, their everything from the physical aspect is just unbelievable. And then they've got such an array of talented footballers. Like they've got players on the bench that would make any other team in the county. Um, so I, I see very hard to see past them. I think if they can keep the fire um, and they can keep the desire, um, they'll be very, very hard to beat. Um, so that's question, all 10 questions. Um, so thank you very much everyone that sent them in. I hope you guys got a lot of value in this and thank you again.